Abu Ghafla is a college student mm -hmm. majoring in the Arabic language. He's known to be an overachiever and prides himself of his ability to juggle multiple tasks at the same time. At 9 a.m., Abu Ghafla sits down to write a research paper that he needs to give to the teacher in two days. He opens his laptop and starts typing. But besides his laptop is his smartphone, buzzing with notifications. At 9.15, after writing two sentences, Abu Ghafla picks up his phone to reply to a text. He then opens up Instagram, scrolls for a few minutes, and responds to a few comments. At 9.30 a.m., Abu Ghafla remembers he has to send an email to his groupmate about a particular project. He quickly composes the email, but then gets distracted by another new email that's offering a sale at his favorite clothing store. Throughout the day, Abu Ghafla toggles between his research paper, checking emails, replying to texts, and occasionally watching short YouTube videos. By the end of the day, he's exhausted and feels he's been working non-stop. Yet he has only written half of his research paper, and that was the main priority of the day. Coming from another world of success, achievement, and efficiency, Abu Shuja. <laughs> At 9 a.m., Abu Shuja sits down to study for his upcoming exams. This time, he leaves his phone in another room and closes all unrelated tabs on his browser. He sets a timer for two hours of focused study. At 11 a.m., after two hours, Abu Shuja takes a break, surprised to find he's covered a significant portion of his research paper. Not only does Abu Shuja study more efficiently, but he also retains this information better. He feels less drained at the end of the day, having spent less over time studying but grasping much more. Many students of knowledge like Abu Ghafla fall into the trap of believing that multitasking enables them to get more done. Now, embracing the concept of deep work, which entails that you dedicate an undistracted block of time to a specific task, this will dramatically enhance the productivity and lead to a deeper understanding of the subjects of, of what you are studying. To really get things done, you need to give it your full attention. Most people take longer to accomplish things and tasks that really shouldn't be taking that long. If I'm memorizing the Quran, that is all I'm doing. There's no phones around, no people in the room, there's no food cooking in the stove that I have to get up in 15 minutes to check. I intentionally set two, four hours to only do this thing. Likewise, this can be applied to a bigger task, like in bigger blocks of time as well. Let's say for example, this year of my life, I'm going to be studying the Arabic language then I give it my full attention. I'm not going to attend to this lesson and the other lesson and study this book and this other book because it will distract me from the main thing, which is learning the Arabic language this year. Another example is if I'm doing, uh, let's say emails, I'm going over emails. All the tabs on my laptop are closed. My phone is not on the desk. I'm not listening to a podcast at the same time. I intentionally set one three hours, whatever it might be to only do this thing. If you're intentional about the tasks that you set yourself to do and the goals that you set yourself to accomplish and completely delete all distractions or potential distractions that might happen, you will see that things you have been procrastination, procrastinating on, it actually doesn't even take that long for you to accomplish. And it was all in your mind. As a result of you applying this in your life, you'll be more productive in your work and your goals that you're trying to accomplish. And people will be able to rely on you more, to trust you more when they want you to do something or delegating tasks to you. And they will be able to have the confidence that this person will actually get it done at the time I told him to get it done. And of course, you will become a more efficient student. If you like this video, click this video right here. I talk about it in depth and I give you a guide on how to apply these things in your life. We'll see you there. Assalamu alaikum.